Now I'm reading online about, you know, Seth Rollins hearing about his injury and I don't know if it's a work or not, or if they're just using it online to manipulate fans to think that he might actually retire. And, you know, I mean, back in 2000 and I think 15, Seth Rollins, um, he got injured when he was trying to powerbomb Kane onto a table at a house show and he had to relinquish the championship. He also got injured again um, almost before WrestleMania 33 when Samoa Joe attacked him. So Seth Rollins, he does have a history of being injured a lot. And he does wrestle a lot. I mean, maybe he shouldn't wrestle all the time, you know. There's always been talk about wrestlers working too much. And you don't want to do that. Because he, because he does a lot of, like, aerial moves. And he's a, and a guy with an injured, he injured his knee and leg twice. I mean, he could have these issues. I don't know. My question is, where did it all start with this spinal injury that could cost him his career? I mean, it's not like a neck injury or anything. Randy Orton has a back injury, and he might he's probably going to have to retire. As far as Seth Rollins having an injury goes, I don't know if it's a work. He was injury prone anyways, but like, I don't know. I'm kind of uh, tired of Seth Rollins anyways being the champion and don't I never really cared for him as much or I don't care for him much anymore. I mean, a lot of these wrestlers get injured a lot. Even Finn Balor has been injured before and whatnot. Wrestlers just wrestle a little too much, I feel. So if he really does to retire, I think they really need to reconsider having wrestlers wrestle so much. And knowing he had injuries before... It's no surprise to me that he could have a really bad injury that could cost him his career. But um, I just feel like they do too much.